In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build AI voice agents step by step. AI voice agents are automated phone calls that use AI to book meetings, take orders, capture leads, etc. I'm now going to do a quick demo of how this actually sounds. Hi, I'd like to order a pizza. I'd like to order a Hawaiian pizza. A Hawaiian pizza it is. Perfect choice. Voice agents have recently taken businesses by storm. One of the biggest pain points for businesses is having to respond to the numerous phone calls that they get on a daily basis. Let's take John, a pizza restaurant owner. So John runs a business by himself, making pizzas and taking phone calls. So all of John's calls pretty much consist of asking the customer, what type of pizza would you like? What size would you like it in? But all this, all these calls, even if they're just simple, all throughout the day takes up a lot of time away from actually cooking the pizzas. So if we could build an AI voice agent to just simply answer these questions, capture that data and store that data, and we're able to handle all of these requests for him, we can save John a lot of time ensuring that all the customers are responded to and a sale is not missed. So if we could save John an hour every single day, allowing him to make an extra four pizzas, his business will exponentially grow. Saving this much time for business owners is incredibly valuable for them and is an incredible opportunity to sell these agents. Other use cases for AI automated phone calls includes dentists, plumbers, carpenters, roofers, the list really goes on. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through two stages of voice agents. So first, I'm gonna cover the inbound caller for a pizza restaurant. This will have sort of custom knowledge and then actions to actually capture the pizza type, pizza size, as well as a delivery address. Then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to build a real estate outbound caller where we can actually link this to a list of leads to automatically call people and then just see if they're interested in buying a property. The tool that I'm going to use to create these agents is called Synthflow. So Synthflow is the easiest platform that I've used. Uh, it makes integrations super simple. So you can sign up using my affiliate link and you're going to get a 14 day free trial. So to get started with Synthflow, you've just got to go ahead and create an account and you're gonna land on a dashboard that looks like this. Now the first thing that you wanna do in Synflow is go over to the integrations tab on the side and we need to connect our Twilio account. So we need to go ahead and create an account on Twilio and input our account SID and authentication token. So this is my Twilio account here. What you can go ahead and do is just sign up for the Twilio sort of free trial and they'll give you some free credits as well. So it's pretty simple to create a Twilio account. Um, and once you've got that going, you'll land on a page that looks just like this. Just scroll down a bit. The first voice agent that I'm gonna build is the pizza restaurant inbound caller that will take orders, tuck our address, and just store and capture that information. So we'll go ahead and click create assistant. And what we wanna do is go ahead and click inbound. So you should land on a page like this. This is one that I've already configured, but you get the option to change an image. You get to change the name. We can select the voice or we can actually clone our own voice. So we can actually connect this to 11 labs using uh, a native integration, uh, 11 labs API key. So if you wanna go ahead and get the 11 labs type of voices, you can do so uh, with that API key. Going down to the AI model, it's got currently set as a default to GPT-4 Turbo. I find that that works quite well and is quick enough. So that's fine to keep it like that. So we've also got a custom greeting, so we can actually set that ourselves. So we can also change the custom greeting, which is just the opening line that the bot says when you call up uh, the number so it says hey there how can i assist you so you can change that to whatever you'd like and the patience level i've just got it set to the default going into prompt so this is where sort of all the action happens um, we can set up some actions i'll come back to this but i'm first going to cover um, our prompt so this works quite similar to how the assistance api works or how gpts work if you're familiar with them we're just giving it a prompt and the prompt is really the brain of it we're telling it how to re respond how to react how to answer questions, what questions it should ask, all that type of stuff, we're combining it all into one prompt. So my prompt is, you are an AI assistant designed specifically for a pizza restaurant named Pizza AI or Pizza AI. Your main role is to interact with customers through a digital interface to help them place their orders efficiently and accurately. So I generated this prompt using AI uh, pretty quickly. So it does the job. You understand the full menu, including various types of pizzas, toppings, cross options, and sizes as well as side dishes, drinks, and dessert options available at the restaurant. You want to ask them what type of pizza they want and save this information. You want to ask them what size of pizza they want and save this information. 
You communicate in a friendly professional tone and you're adept at handling special requests, modifications and answering questions about the ingredients and preparation methods. Your goal is to ensure a seamless ordering experience, minimizing wait times and improving customer satisfaction. You can also inform customers about current promotions, deals and estimated delivery times. Remember to confirm the order details with the customer before finalizing to avoid any mistakes. Your responses are concise, informative and designed to encourage a pleasant and engaging interaction, making the customer feel valued and eager to return. You're equipped with the capability to learn from each interaction, gradually from improving your recommendations and efficiently over time. You should ask if they want to come in the store or get a delivery. If they want a delivery, please ask for the address and save it. So moving back to the actions, what we've got is a, a set of features that they've built in to Synthflow. So we've got a send SMS. So send a customer SMS after the call. So when we have a call, maybe we want to have some sort of follow-up SMS system. So we can build out um, an automated system. So under what conditions to place pretty good instructions here you can pretty much send them maybe a booking link or like a calendar link to book in a meeting after that call or we can just send them some information after the call real-time booking so we can connect to cal.com directly in this so what we can do is actually book calls during the meeting we've got a call transfer so we can transfer the call to a human if somebody says i don't want uh, to talk to you anymore i want to talk to a real human we can set this system up to actually transfer that call to a real human so the actual your client or yourself would just get called and then you pick up the phone and it would be on the line with client or the customer of course we've also got an information extractor which is what i'll show you in a second so this will extract information from the call uh, during the call. So what I've gone ahead and done is set up three different information extractors. So the first information extractor that I've got built out is a pizza type. So what type of pizza did you want? Output examples, Hawaiian margarita. Pretty simple setup. Just give it a sort of example question, some example responses from the user, and then it's pretty much set up. We can save that. The next one that I set up was another information extractor for what is your address? So what is your address? Examples to John Street, New York. Um, Street New York. So pretty good example there. We're able to just capture that information using the information extractor. And I've also gone ahead and set up what size would you like of the pizza, of course. So small, medium, large. And then we can store that information uh, once the call is actually made. So now that we've had that call, we've got access to a ton of information in Synthflow. So we can tell it if it was great or if it was terrible. Um, we can rate it. We've got access to the entire transcript uh, from the call. We didn't choose to record it, but we could have done that in the settings if we wish to do so. And then we've got our actions. So we've got our set of values that we were looking to extract. So we can see here, pizza size, um, what pizza size we like, small, medium, large, and it found that we said small. So obviously that's gonna do that for our address. Uh, we can see here, we've got our city, New York, extract the city of the user, um, city, New York. So obviously um, there's a lot more that we can do in terms of extracting information for different use cases. But in this use case, super simple. We wanna capture the type of pizza they want, the size of the pizza, their address. And if we can do that really well and we can get that data stored and saved and then connect that to a system that the pizza restaurant would actually be using, we can now fully automate pizza restaurant phone caller systems. We can take their exact order, we can store that information, have it sent directly to the kitchen to process that order and fulfill orders all from just doing this. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the real estate outbound uh, voice agent. So what I'm going to use is actually the template uh, that Simflow has already created. So this is a buyer lead qualification uh, real estate template. Hello, I'm calling from Majestic Estates. I've seen you complete our form on the website about buying or renting. Do you have a couple of minutes to finish the request? Hey, yeah, for sure. Hello, this is Paul, the AI assistant. Let's start. Are you looking into buying or renting? Uh, buying. Fantastic. In which location are you interested? Uh, suburbs of Berlin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click create assistant. Once I've gone ahead and clicked create assistant, I'm going to go ahead and just change this down to a $1 max budget. Um, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit select phone number, select my Twilio phone number. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is go down to your Synflow AI Zaps. So Synflow has a direct integration with Zapier that we're gonna to use to automate a lead list for outbound calls. So what we need to do is scroll down until we get to these popular um, sort of Zaps that have been created and we're gonna select trigger phone calls in Synflow for new or updated rows. So click that and then what you'll need to do is log into your Zapier account and you'll land on a page just like this which is creating a Zap in Zapier. So go ahead and connect your Google Sheets or Google account to the Google Sheet plugin and then hit continue. Then what you can go ahead and do is create a new Google Sheet uh, table here. I've just put in name, number, you can do whatever layout you'd like and I've named it Synthflow Leads. So now when I go back into Zapier, I can go ahead and go and find that spreadsheet. So Synthflow Leads, we can go and select Worksheet 
sheet one and then our true column will just be any column. So we'll hit continue. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and connect Synflow. So it's set up to make a phone call, which is exactly what we want. We'll hit continue. Then we'll hit sign in. Now, in order to connect this, we need to go ahead and get our Synflow API key. So now to get this API key, just create a new tab for Synflow and then go over to the integrations tab and click copy on our Synflow API key. We can then go back to our Zapier um, tab, paste in the API key and hit continue to Synflow. So now this should be all connected. We'll just hit continue. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and actually add in our phone number from the spreadsheet. So we can just replace the existing value with our phone number from the spreadsheet. Now we do also need to go ahead and go into Synthflow and grab the model ID from our assistant. So Paul AI, the one we copied, will grab that ID and just paste that into Zapier. Go ahead and click continue test step and now we can go ahead and see that that has worked and i am receiving a call from that test so that has gone ahead and worked so we'll just hit publish and now we should be done with that so we can just hit close i'm just going to rename this so i've just gone ahead and rename this and we can just click close so now if i just go ahead and copy this value here and just paste it again with my number ideally zapier should pick that up and we should receive a phone call in just a minute so here we are, we're now getting the call just from adding it into the spreadsheet. So it did take a few minutes for the call to come through, but obviously when you go ahead and upload a ton of leads to this list, uh, they'll work perfectly fine for calling lead list for outbound calling. So I hope that was a helpful video in understanding how to easily build inbound and outbound caller regions, as well as how to connect this to something like Zapier to run automations alongside this. If you do want to get a 14 day free trial to Synthflow, you can go ahead and use my affiliate link in the description below.